Ma, what's wrong? Leap year? Full moon? Oh my God, the curse. Ma, it's the 90s. You can call it what it is. Our monthly visitor. <laughs> The curse of the Strega. It was a curse laid on you by Lena Passarelli, our village witch. What village? I was born in Brooklyn. Here's a news flash. Witches can fly. Why did she curse me? I don't know. Maybe because you gave her the call that eventually killed her. The point is, on her deathbed, she laid a curse on you. Beware the leap year's full moon. That's it? That's the curse? What'd you expect? Poetry? <laughs> The woman was on her deathbed. Give her a break. So now there are three tasks I must perform before tomorrow's moonrise, or you are doomed. And the three tasks are? Kiss a fool, help a holy man, reveal betrayal of a loved one. Oh, come on, Ma. That's superstitious nonsense. You know, step on a crack, break your mother's back. It doesn't work. I know. <laughs> I tried. Blanche has entered the room. <laughs> no, no, come here a minute. Listen, something very strange is going on here. Oh, would you get up and go somewhere else, please? Excuse us, please. Sit down here. Go, go somewhere. I don't understand this, but these men are acting crazy. You're telling me? I haven't been hit on like this since I stopped hanging out at the midnight show of Harold and Maud. <laughs> you mean... Men are coming on to you? Yeah. One guy told me he thought Drinkles was sexy. I took him out to the garage where he could see me under the fluorescence. <laughs> I'm telling you, this full moon is making people crazy. Oh, Ma, look, I don't mean to poo-poo your old moon thing, but poo-poo. <laughs> no, darling, there really is something going on here. Well, I mean, just look how the men are all flocking around you and totally ignoring me. It's, it's nature gone loco. <laughs> Wait a minute, that's not so ridiculous. Dorothy has her own allure. She's confident. Men are attracted to a confident woman. Oh God, I can never keep a straight face. <laughs> Sophia, this is serious. Tonight is supposed to be one of the most romantic nights of my life. You think you've got problems? I have to kiss a fool to save Dorothy from the curse. So why don't you just kiss Rose and get it over with? <laughs> Technically, Rose isn't a fool. She's a simpleton. What's the difference? How can I explain it? Fools read Dear Abby. Simpletons read Ann Landers. It's a fine line. <laughs> Actually, I'm very tired. I, I dreamed all last night that I was a car muffler. And when I woke up this morning, I was exhausted. <laughs> That's brilliant. How do you come up with these? Well, I learned most of them as a child, <laughs> but they're still very relevant today. Yeah. <laughs> oh, here's Miles. Excuse me. Hello, oh. honey. <laughs> Come on, you talk. Excuse me. Who's Miles? Her boyfriend. She's a boyfriend? Shoot. Every time I meet a smart girl, she's already taken. <laughs> Wait a minute. You think she's smart? Well, yeah. Hot damn. 